Now tell me how you survived 50 years. See, the first, the first four or five years, you know, uh, every time that time of the month would come around, she'd get right to eel and everything, you know. <laughs> I said, God, no, this is going to be a terrible, you know. So then I had this thought, you know, if I keep her pregnant, she wouldn't be having all that problem and everything would be all right. Then the next thing I know, we had a house full of young ones and something like that. That didn't work either. <laughs> and three of them was girls. <laughs> uh, but, but I tell you something, one thing really that, that laying off jokes aside, uh, 50 years might seem like a long, 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 long time. And in one way looking at it, it might be, but in another way looking at it, it's almost like a blink of an eye. I mean, I can remember just as good when I was thumbing out there to see Barbara, like it was yesterday, and it looks 50 years and then gone by. Now you won't walk across the street and see me. Hey, walk across there now. I need crutches to get over there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, 50 years, it's, it's gone. Well, you know what? Time flies, and, and the older and quarter past five, we've been married fifty years. And the older you get, the more you realize that, that in God's infinite wisdom, He done a whole lot of things right that that you don't really think about until you start getting a little bit of age on them. The first thing He done right, He fixed it so people had their children when they was younger, when the nerves weren't frayed. And another thing he does, it he gives you uh, wisdom. So the older you get, the more you understand things. The more things uh, that used to be something that we fight about, and hey, it's just trivial matters now. You know, it's things that you don't. It used to be we we want to fight about everything, argue about everything. But now, I feel like he's my best friend. So yeah, you know it's a. Things that we used to argue about, you find out over a period of time, it ain't, it ain't worth arguing. It ain't worth a hill of beans. And uh, it's, it's, it's true, whether you realize it or not, the older you get, the smarter you get about a whole lot of things in life. You know? uh, I, I might not be uh, the smartest thing in the world when it comes to computers and this, that, and other. Oh, my God, little. I thought you were. No, I've been fooling you, but uh, but just every day in and out life. He's a head geek. Uh, you find out that the things that, that that most folks argue about ain't worth a a plug nickel. And the biggest problem nowadays with with people in marriage, is my my personal opinion is is commitment. You know, a lot of folks don't make the commitment to the marriage they don't make. In other words, it's, it's too easy to shack up. Six months now, if it don't work out, I right, you go this way, you, they go that way, and all this stuff. There's no commitment there. But I do believe that two people is going to have anything and the amount of anything that like to take both of you working together. You got to be 100% committed to each other, you know. And it, it takes, you just got to, you got to pull together. If you take two old mules and hook them up to an old wagon, and they pull together, that wagon's going to go down that road just as smooth and easy, but you hook two old ornery mules up there, and one's pulling one way and one's pulling the other way, that wagon ain't going too far, you know. So it's just, it's just commitment is what it takes, I think.